Thank you. Thank you. Holy yeah. mess. Thank you. Thank you. Holy mm -hmm. mess. You got it? Mm -hmm. I'll set up outside. Good. Yeah, some uh, quality records you might want to check out. This is... <laughs> you can't even wipe off the dust. That's how thick it is. You got something leaking from the refrigerator. That's a hazard. Well, uh, you that up there. We're gonna get this big furniture out the front room first. If we stay there. Look at how covered with dust that stuff over there is. Um, shine that light on that shelf, man. Look at those albums and stuff. How dusty it was. So. It's it's a shame. They probably got some quality albums in here too. I bet they're all roasted. So it's a small apartment, but it looks like this. The whole, you know, it threw out. It's thick as it's bad. It's done. It's done. Just cheers. This is in the way. I can't see what I'm doing. Take pictures for the owner and for management. They can go ahead and, uh, discuss what's going to go on after this, you know, in terms of cleaning, repainting. There's obviously a lot of work. There's years of staining from oils and uh, cigarette smoke. The carpet's probably trashed. Huh? You're going to have to redo practically everything in here. Yeah, so the plastic bag. Navy. Um, here, watch it. Um, fire. This thing. Yeah, I got call you, sir. Just let him know. Yeah, I'm trying to do Can I just right? Go rolling now. Got it. <laughs> Shit. Kids are trying Hopefully to buy that's it. the hardest thing to take. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I don't mean to get in your way. You just had the floors you're done too before these people moved in. You paint. It was a nice looking unit. Yeah. So, 
obviously you got a little toasty up here. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, this wasn't occupied, right? It was not occupied, it no. Was just, it was this was, story. yeah, I mean, this was just somebody who owned the house before we did put this weird thing up here. Yeah. So, I mean, we'll probably just eliminate all this. There's no reason to even put it back. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But I'm pretty sure this is what tripped the circuit breaker in the basement. I don't see any ratchet damage, so that's a good thing. But even this is probably what yeah. tripped the breakers. Yeah. But I mean, even for the amount of damage, like, this is still. Yeah. I don't know. It's just, it's, this is wild to me. I'm sure you've seen fire damage before. This cool. is my first time. I think it's crazy. Yeah, this is not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> So what do you give me, basically, like a POS violation sheet? Uh, you know, violation sheet, okay, but what's going to happen, okay, violation sheet, is going to be a fire damage. Right. Uh, but once you pull a permit, that violation becomes, and, you know, it's, it's compliance final violation. Right. Part, and then you just have to follow up with a permit uh, inspection. So yeah. Um, that's basically what it is. Uh, the only issue is, like, they told me us not to touch anything. How do we do, Joe? Uh, seen better. Seen worse, too. Straight it over there. There's some, you know, some like old room that's only set up there. But, I mean, you look like this outlet's literally right by the fire. It's not even melted, you know. And then there's a smoke detector over there from the heat being high that's totally roached. Okay. You know, the steel detector melted off the wall. We need to, you can come to the side around if you need to. But the floor, I mean, there's not the floor's not buckled or nothing. No, it's good. They didn't use so much water either. No. Plus, I'm sure they hit it. It's hot, so it's going to dry out quick. Yeah. You know, on your windows. Uh, yeah, I think there's only two windows left in the entire unit, but they're probably all messed up anyways. All right. It's pretty bad. You want to see the other decision? Our violation notice will have 30 days. Uh-huh. Um, what if the insurance company's like, don't touch anything still? So listen, uh, I'll work with you for as long as it's necessary, as long as we have communication open and, you know, and you keep me informed of what insurance is asking from you. Okay. No, it's not, yeah, yeah. Let me I got you down here. Yeah, it's not going to be an issue whatsoever. All right. Um, All right. Yeah, yeah, we're not here to, you know. Yeah, I mean, the fire just happened Friday. Yeah. So. Right. And I, yeah, I didn't get a complaint until last night. So the, from about the fire what? department. Oh, the fire department. The fire department has to, yeah, they have to call in. This is not bad. No, I mean, this is amazing compared to what the upstairs looks like. There's a little bit of water damage. Uh, yeah, but it's so minor. Yeah. Like, it's like right there. Yeah, and there's a little bit up above here. I'm surprised this is not flooded. Yeah, I know. Can you believe? I couldn't believe it when I walked in here. You I mean, you could literally, it doesn't even smell that bad. No. Yeah, I'll, I'll go to the photos. I'll, I'll see where I have to do. Okay, I must have had it. 
Can I have your phone number? Yeah. I can contact you directly. Are you the homeowner or? Yeah, with uh, my business partner. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.